Hello everyone. Welcome to the Techie CV tutorial. Today we will discuss about the hops in Pentaho. What are hops? So whenever you need to join the two components, how you will join? You will join using hops. So I am in a job. Job is always start with start object. You take any other component, you take set variables, right? Right click on start. So here scheduling is also there, which I'll explain you in the next video. Now when you reach near start component, you'll see this click on this object connected to start the creation of a new job hop connection between two job entries drag it here now can you see a lock sign it means from start it will go to set variables now I'll drag another component let's say I'll drag a job again now here drag it here so this is green there is a difference between a lock and a green green is always when the set variables will be set values will be set properly only then it will go to job otherwise it will fail I'll drag another job see it's red now red means if my set variable component somehow will not work properly it will go to this job and if I click on green it can become red click on red again it will become lock right lock means if the set variable success or failed it will definitely go to this object so you always remember that it should be green that on the success of set variables I need to go to next job on the failure of set variables I need to go to job 2 right never do like this this is wrong now when it happens actually I'll drag uh, dummy so if there is a requirement you need to add some other component in between the two components how we generally do is will come near to hop and it will ask this do you want to split this hop yes execute the next job entry unconditionally we generally click on yes now can you see this lock has come again you need to click here to make sure it should run on success dummy has nothing to do with the failure so anyhow it will go to job only right so there are three things lock green and red lock red means failure green means success lock means it will go to next component irrespective of failure or success okay so this is all about the hops on pentaho now what happens if you click here there is a hop bulk change it says disable downstream can you see everything that is going after this hop it's getting disabled right click here enable downstream right so you can enable and disable the entire stream using this hop bulk change right now if you want to delete 
so it's not no more there now again I'll join with it right right click delete now if you want to disable a link between two components then use disable now it's disabled right right click enable so hope can be enabled disabled enable the downstream disable the downstream hops so again i'll repeat lock green red disable once you disable it you can enable it now you can do bulk enable bulk disable now when we need red and right this I explained in case of failure now I'll go to transformation filter filter rose is the component I'll take two dummies so filter is the condition it will ask for the field which is coming from the previous steps it will ask to set some values here you can set value suppose a variable is coming and you want to set 2 so on the success of 2 it will go here it will ask see result is true result is false I'll say true this generally happen this with community addition let me do it again and in case of failure see this is also where we need green and red now I'll tell you another scenario table output table input I'll join table input with output. I'll take another table input, table output. Now, in case while dumping the data from table input to table output, some of the records are not in sync with the data structure of table output, then I'll do error handling. See, error handling of step. It's an issue in this community edition. Done. So this is how you can use a red hope as well. I hope this is clear to everyone where and when and how we need to use green red and the locked one thank you for watching if you like it please share it and subscribe it to my channel thank you very much